Hi, this is Gabriel Castro. This is my Delta 46700 wood lathe, variable speed wood lathe with the Reese drive. When I bought this on Craigslist, I realized it had some problems. I took this apart a little bit. I loosened this up right here, and then that allows me to back this off. And then when I screw that out, that in turn moves this handle back and forth and allows you to take this part off of the Reese drive. But well, what happened was when I took this off, this right here was there was a hole and a pin had popped out. And you see the groove right there? That's for that pin on the bar. I'm going to rotate this motor so you can get a, a, a look at it. Right here, that key right there. That key had come off. And then on the inside, I don't know if you can see it or not with this. But um, there is a set screw right there. Anyway, that set screw had come released, and this portion of the Reese drive had uh, wedged itself up against the motor and was freezing the motor. So when I would turn it on and off, the motor would uh, it would it would spin as it was on. But when I turned it off, it would shut off. There was no free spinning, so that was causing the motor to overheat. I read on a few forums that there were several people that had different uh, problems with the motor overheating and whatnot. So anyway, I pushed this pin, put it in place. I tightened up the set screen, just a little eyeball engineering. I lined up the pulley from front to back, sort of like on a bandsaw. You want them coplanar, of course. You'd, otherwise, there's a lot of uh, vibration going on. So anyway, put that back on, and you can see right here that groove, that's for where the pin is on the shaft. Let me see if I can get that on there. So that just slides back on, and then I'll just tighten that back up in place. But anyway, I put that back together, and the motor, you know, taking this off the motor, it released all that tension on the motor, and... Uh, the motor actually works fine, it doesn't overheat, and aligning the two pulleys from front to back, uh, there's no more vibration and it's not noisy anymore like, like uh, you see a lot of complaints online. So anyway, give that a shot if you're not exactly sure how to take it apart. I just, you know, just pulled, took it upon myself to figure it all out. Anyway, that seemed to work good for me. It solved a lot of problems. So if you've got a Delta 46700, uh, give that a shot. And also there was another tip online I saw where some guy had uh, he had taken on this side. He had made a wedge or a rolling pin, and that slides inside there. So when the cover's on, you actually have, you know, um, just like on, on, a, on a small lathe, uh, you, it actually pops that in there and allows you to turn and whatnot and you know, it also has a hole in there for the knockout bar. So anyway, I made that out of some scrap wood. Anyway, I hope that helps. Have a good day. Give us a like if you like it. Bye.